Well, hello there! Oh, crap! Hey there, Godzuki! You know my name's Minya. <laughs> right, Godzuki. That's funny. Anyways, did you hear? Somebody put a petition online for me to actually get a sequel to my movie. They're looking for, I think, around 100 signatures, so if we could just find some of the other action figures and maybe help us out, that would be fantastic. Because I think everybody's just forgotten how awesome I truly am. Yeah. You know what? Good luck with that. I think I'm just going to go take a Zilla now. What? What do you mean by Zilla? It's what Godzilla calls a pile of. Hey, just welcome to Super Important Views. My name's Steve, and today I'll be going over some Bandai vinyl figures with some Bandai Creation 12-inch Godzilla and Kiryu from Godzilla x Mega Godzilla and Minya from Final Wars, which is actually a Japanese vinyl. Had a request to do Kiryu and Minya, so I decided to toss in the big G into this review because, eh, why not? He needs to be somewhere in this. And I've had these figures for actually a long time now with uh, Kiryu and Godzilla. I picked up at a Toys R Us nearby when they first came out. And Minya I actually got as a Christmas present for my mom because she likes to get me Minya stuff for reasons. I think she doesn't like me. But anyways, I do not have the tags or the packagings for these guys, so we're pretty much just going to be going over the figures here, starting with Minya, because he will definitely be the fastest to go over. So I actually really like the sculpt for this guy overall. Definitely very reminiscent of what we've seen in Final Wars with his very stoner-esque appearance. Like, those eyes look kind of bloodshot to me. He just doesn't look like he has too much of a care in the world, you know? Also kind of reminds me of the baby from Dinosaurs. It's like, not the mama. Just kind of need to get him with a little pot and just start smacking out of the monsters around. But the head sculpt is still really nice for, for his eyes. He has that very nice red paint job for his irises. On the inside of his mouth is actually a pinkish hue, but you can still see two of his little fangs on the front here with his nice detail for the nose. And you can start coming look around the back where you see his little bumps for his dorsal spines coming down and then a little bit more segmenting here for his back, which if those actually grew, that would be a crazy gnarly looking dorsal spine section there. And his cute little stubby tail with a decent amount of detailing here too to give it some scaling textures with the segmenting like you'd see on the adult Godzilla. For his body, just very chubby, very fat. It's even got a little bit of sagging chest there, but it still looks really nice too. And again, very reminiscent of the film. Overall, his arms are just in a more forward kind of hugging position. Then you also get his very babyish legs, which are just little chubbers there with his four-toed feet and some copyright information on the bottom. Then for his articulation, his hands can rotate all the way around. And then for his legs can also rotate all the way kind of sideways in a fashion and nothing here at the tail or at the head and then next we'll go over Godzilla which for the head sculpt actually looks really nice on this guy really like the detailing here for his scales which actually has some very nice hard edges which looks really cool overall it gives him a very nice menacing appearance also really like the orange for his eyes too and he has some black pupils here nothing too crazy going on with all those freaking fangs on the inside of his mouth which are in a very nice bone paint job Get some detailing for his ton with some red paint. Looks pretty good. And going to the top of his head where you start seeing the protrusions for his spines. And then coming down to the rest of his dorsal spines along his back. Actually look really nice too. Really like the detailing for the spines and the paint job actually really helps to show off a lot of the details. Where you get this very glossy white for the edges of the spines with more of a black shade for the inner workings of it. Looks pretty cool. Also get some little protrusions here on the inner coursings of the spines and then the more gloss white here for the outer layers for his body actually fairly lean for what you see with a lot of the Godzillas especially coming from the Heisei series he actually slims down quite a bit for this guy but has a very nice defined chest really like all the scaling textures here on the front of his stomach here especially on the abdomen too arms look great too and I like how, just standing on your shelf, he has a very nice, fierce, like, just battle pose ready positions, especially with the way his hands are kind of in a more clenched, about ready to grab onto something position. And his arm detail is also stained out pretty well. Same with his legs, which also, again, same with this kaiju, very lean, but you still get a lot of detailing here for the muscle bulges with his kneecap and his gigantic organic feats. So the one thing you'll notice on mine is for some odd reason he had some white paint job on his ankle. Not really sure how they got there. But on the bottom of his feet get some copyright information. 
And then the only thing that I'm not quite of a big fan of on this guy is his tail. Which I guess is kind of nice because it saves on space on your shelf. And I got to kind of position it a little bit better just so you guys don't see that giant segmenting. Because this part actually pops up real easy on mine. But coming around to the other side so you guys can see what I'm talking about a little better. His tail kind of curls in on itself. Which is pretty cool. Something a little bit different for what you see on a lot of these Godzilla figures. You kind of see it goes... In a very weird cockeyed pattern on the back. And it's kind of neat that it does save on space. But it's just kind of doesn't really work very well for the positioning for me. Because he looks like he's about getting ready to attack. And I wouldn't imagine his tail would be curling in at that point. But the detail work on here is just like the rest of his back. Where you get his dorsal spines with that more glossy white paint job. But towards the base of the tail it starts fading into more of a blue shade. And you'll notice here at the top section of the tail too where it still holds a lot of the detail coming all the way to the tip of the tail which is something that's really nice. And it also has some decent detailing work here for the bottom section of the tail as well. Now the only real thing that I really have negative to say about this guy is in terms of appearance he's kind of confusing. Because he's supposed to be the Godzilla x Mega Godzilla Godzilla. The one that fights Kiryu which is why he's in this review. But he also kind of has traits from other Godzillas as well. So it throws me off a little bit because initially I even kind of considered this guy more of a Final Wars Goji to be honest. Except he's just a little bit more fierce looking. But definitely Mecha Godzilla. You guys have definitely let me know that. And then for his articulation, head can rotate side to side. His arms can move forward and back. His legs can also... Move forward and back, can pretty much go all the way around. And then for his tail, can also shimmy side to side, but does tend to pop off pretty easy on this one. And then also has a rotation here at the top portion of the tail. And then finally we have Kiryu, or also you may know as Mechagodzilla 3. Which for the head sculpt actually probably one of my favorites out of the Bandai vinyls that I own. And actually pretty much other than the SH Monster Arts, this guy overall has probably the most impressive details for me out of all the Kiryu's that I have accumulated. The only other thing I would really say that would be easily better than this guy is probably the X Plus version over the Monster Arts one. And maybe even the Solo Shigokins, but those figures are kind of hit and miss for me for the most part. But the further head sculpt looks very reminiscent of what we see in the film where he has those very nice glossy yellow eyes. Overall his entire body is done in a... Pretty good metallic silver paint job. With some black here for his vent vein skin thing look. With the same paint job kind of translating on the teeth there. But the inside of his mouth also in the same metallic silver you would see on the rest of the kaiju. And then he has his nice little ears on the side here. Moving down the neck you get some more metallic silver. With his dorsal spines which are very correct for the kaiju. With those pretty sweet protrusions on the top. I always thought that was kind of a neat little... Inclusion I cure you. But the detail work for his arms turned out really great. We have that upside down triangle pattern for the bicep area. For his hands look really awesome. Also very gnarly and sharp. So definitely not recommended for small children because Kiryu might cause some damage. For his chest, I actually kind of wish it was a little bit more defined because you can see where his absolute zero cannon would be, where this part would actually open up. But it kind of fades in with the rest of the detail work for the chest area here, so I wish it just stood out a little bit more. You also get some vent work here for the undersection of his pecs. A little bit of admin details with some tubing coming around the sides of his body, which is pretty accurate for the kaiju. With his nice pair of metal underbrews with some tubes coming into the sections of the legs. Overall, the leg details are actually really nice where you get his weird freaking kneecaps with his... Kaiju feet, which are more or less in the same vein as what we got with the Godzilla Bandai vinyl. With some more copyright information on the bottom. And then finally you get Kiryu's tail, which is probably the most lackluster thing on this kaiju, which it does have a lot of very good details that carry out throughout the entirety of the figure. And it kind of looks pretty good with him overall. But in terms of the film, it's a little bit smaller than I would have liked it to be. Because it just doesn't really work too well with this guy overall. Because I really would love to have seen a more bulky tail even if they would have had to have curved it up a little bit to save on shelf space. But for it being just a band of vinyl, something meant to be played with kids, still works really well for me overall. And then for Kiryu's articulation, he's a little bit lackluster compared to the other ones we've seen. Because all he really has 
is his arms can rotate. That's essentially all you're getting. He has a little bit of a body swivel. Nothing too crazy. But he has nothing at the head. Nothing at the legs. But his tail can rotate all the way around. So for a quick comparison, here we have the Bandai Vinyls with some X-Plus Godzillas. With the Godzilla 1962 and Godzilla 95 or Burning Godzilla. And here they are some more obscure Godzilla action figures. With a Marmot Godzilla 2000 and a Medicom Godzilla 1962. And here they are with some more Bandai Vinyls with the 12 inch Gigan from Final Wars and the standard Gigan from Final Wars. And here they are with the Essex Monster at Spitfire 2014 Godzilla and the NECA Godzilla 1954. So over with the Bandai Kiryu, Minya, and Godzilla, I actually still like these guys overall with Kiryu being my f most favorite and with the Godzilla being my least favorite just because he doesn't really have quite as good details as he did in the movie. But he's still a pretty good Godzilla figure overall. And Kiryu is actually a really nice representation of the Kaiju. Granted, the tail could be a little bit bigger and maybe could have some more articulation. But then again, if you just want this guy just standing on your shelf just to look like Kiryu and be an awesome representation of the guy, then he definitely works great for you. And if you want a Final Wars Minya, Minya will do the job well. But what do you guys think? Do you guys own any of these Bandai vinyls? Which one's your favorite? Is X Plus just more your thing? Please let us know in the comments. A little closer picture of these guys on Facebook. You want to click the link in the description below. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.